Hi friends, in this session I am going to show how to encrypt and decrypt the content. So I am going to start my Spring Cloud uh, config server. I have already started. I am going to hit in Postman. See, in my uh, app and db dot properties, I have URL, username, and password. I have given password in a plain text. In the same way, in application dot property also, I have username and password. The password is in plain text. Uh, people can see, and uh, so it is not secure. So I want to encrypt and send the password over the server. In the client application, when they want to use, they can decrypt and use. So we. Spring uh, Cloud Config by default support Java cryptography extension. So I'm going to download uh, cryptography from J uh, Java download. Based on your J uh, JRE or JDK, we have to download the corresponding uh, Java cryptography extension. So we have to accept the license agreement and we have to download. So I have already downloaded and extracted. So it is giving two jars for us. One is local policy, other one is US export policy. So we have to replace our JDK, JRE security folder uh, jars with this jar. So I am going to replace these two jars. So I am going to my Java. So I have JDK 8 inside that JRE lib security. I am already having local policy and US export policy. So I am going to replace with Java cryptography extension uh, jars. Uh, Spring secure cloud config by default gives us encrypt and uh, decrypt uh, endpoint so that we can encrypt our content and we can decrypt in the client application or in the same application. So I am using JCE so I have to add the security key. I am using symmetric security key. I am going to add it to my application. I am giving it as A B C D E A B C D E F and save it and I am restarting my server So the application is started and we have this encrypt and decrypt and these are a post post method so I'm going to postman post post method I'm going to call that encrypt endpoint And in the body, I have what I want to encrypt, I have to give. So I have, if I go to my property file, in app and db dev, I have password is dev user, so I am going to encrypt that. So, send. 
I got the content. Similarly, I can check this by sending it to decrypt. So in the body, I have to give the encrypted content. So I got tab user. So encrypt and decrypt. We are able to encrypt the content and we are able to decrypt. So now I am going to my property file and I am going to update the content. I am going to edit it. Uh, the cloud server to know to uh, decrypt, we have to add cipher at the beginning of encrypted content. Without that, it will not uh, decrypt. So we have to add cipher and then encrypted content. Password is encrypted. Connection. So now the password is encrypted. So I'm coming to my postman and I'm going to hit my data. We have updated in application app and DB. I'm going to hit that in postman. So it's a dev one. So I'm changing the prof. In app and db dot properties, we got dev user and dev user, but inside the git it was encrypted. The password is encrypted. So over HTTP, when you hit, when you request, if it sees cipher, it internally decrypts the content and gives us. So I don't want this description to be decrypt should be happen at the client uh, server side. I want this to be happen at the client side. So for that. I have to disable the default uh, de decrypt which is happening by the server. So I am coming to my application. So encrypt enable. By default, it is true, so I'm saying false. So I'll restart the application. So I'll come to Postman and hit and see how it is. So app one db dev. So now we are able to see the password is encrypted. It is not decrypted at the server side. So now I am going to the client and check what is happening. So I am going to start my client application. Sorry, I have not given the key so it's failing so we have to give the key So now it is working. So with, if you are not giving the key, the, uh, the application will fail. And we are calling in the, we are using these properties inside the DB REST controller. So I am going to hit the DB endpoint. So I am coming to client. So the password is decrypted. So we can uh, instead of adding plain uh, text to the password or any secure data, we can encrypt in the property file. In the client application, we can uh, decrypt and we can use. So Spring provides that uh, uh, option for us by using JCE, Java Crypto Extension. Uh, thank you, friend.